today topic is addition of fraction or the adding fractions uh, we have done this uh, question before uh, in our regular classes uh, but it is for the revision and be attentive during, during the lecture so anytime i will give you uh, some question for the solution and i am sure when you pay attention here you will solve it so the first question there are two fractions remember that when the denominator is same we just write one time here in the denominator and the two numbers can be written directly without doing any changes so when the two numbers are adding and they are in fraction and their denominator is same it is denominator denominator and it is numerator so when the denominator is same we just write the two denominator are same we just write one time and write the numerator as it is 5 plus 7 so it become 5 plus 7 is 12 and it is upon 3 we can divide here by 3 because 3 1 the 3 and 3 4 the 12 and because uh, so we can do it here so 3 1 the 3 and 3 4 the 12 so ultimate answer is 4 upon 1 or we write just 4 any number having the denominator with 1 we eliminate this just write 1 every number the whole number has the denominator 1 so if you find anywhere written 4 upon 1 just consider this as only 4 so this is the answer of addition of two numbers here similarly in the question number 2 the denominator is same we just write one time and the denominator as 4 and the elevator we write at the same 12 plus 8 so it become 20 upon 4 we can divide 20 upon 4 by 4 because 20 comes in the table of 4 directly we can cut it or we can divide by 2 so let's divide by 2 both number first so 2 to the 4 and 2 on the 2 and 0 so it become 10 upon 2 Further, it can be divided by 2, so 2 1 the 2 and 2 5 the 10. So the answer becomes 5 upon 1. And we can write 5 upon 1 as 5. So the answer is 5. When we add two fractions, the answer becomes 5 here. Similarly, in the question number 3, I am just doing a little pause here. So you can solve question number 3 yourself and then I will do it question number 4 4 for you so let's try now the solution of question number 3 the denominator is same we write one time and numerator we add so it become 9 plus 7 is 16 upon 11 it cannot be further divided we can the denominator is less than the numerator so we write we can write or we can write 16 divided by 11 so 11 1 the 11 the remaining is 5 so the answer become one whole this is one whole and the remainder is come here 5 upon and the divisor is 11 so answer can be written as in the mixed fraction in this form 11, 1 whole 5 upon 11 and when we when we simplify it it becomes 11 was the 11 and plus 5 16 upon 11 the same term now let's move to question number 4 question number 4 is same but the sign is minus so we have to minus this number from the previous one or the first one so the denominator is same we write one time and the numerator is same 12 minus 6 so it become 12 minus 6 become 6 upon 7 and the denominator is greater than the value of the numerator so we leave the answer here we do not write it in mixed fraction quite easy question and the similarly question number 5 9 upon 15 minus 7 upon 15 I am just giving you at real time so solve it yourself and I will see who can understand or do it quickly 
now the question number 15 is taken as common, it is basically LCM. The denominator is same, we write it there. It is called LCM actually. And the same denominator we write one time and 9 minus 7 as, as it is being numerator. So 9 minus 7 is become 2 and the 2 upon 15 is the answer. The denominator is the greater value with the numerator, so we leave answer here. This is the answer. And the question number 6. It is quite different because it is not in the fraction, it is in the mixed fraction. So, first we convert it complex number the, or the mixed fraction into simple fraction number. So, we, we multiply it, it multiplies and it adds. Similarly, we do here that it multiplies and then we add. So, 2 multiplied by 2 is become 4, 4 plus 3 becomes 7, it becomes 7 upon 2 and the plus 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 and the plus 1 7, 7 upon 2. So, ultimately it becomes a simple fraction we have done before. So, we write 2 and 1 time and 7 plus 7 is become 7 plus 7 is 14 upon 2 and we can divide here because 14 comes in the table of 2. So, 2 was the 2 and 2 7 is 14. So, answer is 7 upon 1 or we may write only 7, the whole number. So, 7 is the answer of this addition of this fraction number. Now, move to the question number 7. I am going to do question number 7 and you will do try question number 8 yourself. So, 9 was the 9 and the plus 3, so it become 9 was the 9 and plus 3 is become 12 upon 9 plus 9 multiplied by 2 is 18 and 119 upon 9. So, the denominator is same here and the fraction is there. So, we take 9 as LCM or write one time. So, 9. Now, the same method the denominator is 12 plus 19. So, we add here. I guess write this rough column. So, 12 and the plus 19, 9 and 2, 11, we write 1, 1 is carry, 1, 2, 3, 31. So, it is 31 upon 9. Now, once again, 9 is less, the denominator is less than the numerator. So, we must divide 31 by 9. So, 9, 3 is a 27 and 9 for the 36 become greater than 31. So, we just write 9 to the 27 and 11 minus 7 become 4 and 2 minus 2 0. So, the it can be converted it into mixed fraction as 3 whole 4 upon 9 is the correct answer. So, I am just giving some time to solve this question. You all try it and let us see who can do it quickly and I will solve it for you for your correction. Okay, now this question we must multiply by this and the plus this multiply by this and the plus this 5 5 is a 25 and 1 26 upon 5 and plus 5 to the 10 and 1 11 upon 5. Now the denominator is same and it is 5 we take LCM as and the numerator is adding same 26 plus 11. So, it become 37 upon 5. So, denominator is less than the numerator. So, we divide it for writing answer in mixed fraction. Divide by 5. 5 7 are 35. And the 5 8 the 40. It must be greater than 37. So, we just write 5 7 are 35. And the remaining is 2 here. Now, we can write 7 whole 2 upon 5 is the correct answer. 7 whole 2 upon 5. Now, this it is question 8 and I am sure you all must have done the right question, right solution and you can confirm it from here. Now, move to the question number 9. So, I am just giving some time to solve question 9 and 10 and then I will do it quickly. So, 4 to the 8 
and 7, 4 to the 8 and 7 become 15 upon 4 minus 4 to the 12 and 1, 13 upon 4. Now the denominator is 1 again same. So we write one time and the 15 minus 13. So 15 minus 13 become 2 upon 4 and we can divide it by 2. Both numbers come in the table of 2. So 2 on the 2, 2 to the 4. So the answer is 1 upon 2. 1 upon 2 is the answer. Now in question number 10, the last question, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 and plus 1 is 7 and 2 to the 4 and plus 1 is 5. So 2, 3, 6 and 1, 7 upon 2, minus 2 to the 4 and 1, 5 upon 2. Now the denominator is same, we write one time here and 7 minus 5. So 7 minus 5 is 2 upon 2. So 2 on the 2 and the 2 on the 2. So the remaining is 1 upon 1 or we can write 1 is the answer. I am sure you all have must, uh, must got it. Still, you face any problem, I am going to upload this video to the YouTube. You can see it number of times. And then if you have any problem, you may write in comment. I will reply you inshallah.